Bernard for the Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of the evening. Scheduled for three three-minute rounds. All for the Tough Enough Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. With an MMA record of four wins and two losses. Fighting out of all-in MMA, Whittier, California. Joe Hernandez. His opponent stands across the cage in the red corner with two wins and one loss. Fighting out of Team Alpha Male, Sacramento, California. He is David Bree. Referee in charge of the action inside the cage is Chris Tyone. Guys, you've been given the rules. I just want you to obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Gentlemen, this is a championship fight. We expect a championship effort. Good luck. Tough enough heavyweight title is on the line. Joe Hernandez in the black and red trunks. David Green in the black and white. Heavyweight, you know what that means. One punch can do it all, so don't blink. This is the quiet before the storm, guys. Leg kick straight in there, big sweeping punches. Great hit. David Green. Dancing. Oh, oh wow. nice high kick. Yeah. Those guys look relaxed out there. I like it. Throws the low kick has to avoid those big sweeping hooks. Green switching stance and a spinning kick there slips on that. David Green moves like a lighter fighter, doesn't he? You can definitely but tell that influence there up in Sacramento. Very impressed. Hernandez can take a shot, man. Yeah, obviously Hernandez coming back with those big powerful hooks. Trust me, if he lands one of those, it won't matter how nice it looks. Look at that! <laughs> he gets a high <laughs> five on that one. Yeah. Yeah, you got me with that one. There it was. Oh, Hernandez is yeah, he's hurt. David Green in trouble right now. Green looking for the takedown. Hernandez oh, put up to it. Oh, yeah. He's cut open pretty good there. Oh, yeah, that's bleeding really bad. You know what? I hate to say this. I think we might end up losing this fight early. Gosh. Just when it started to get good. That looks like a pretty bad cut there on the forehead. Yeah, there's a gas there. Let's see what the rest of the doctor does. Doctors take a look at it. Again, amateur ranks here. Fighter safety of the utmost importance. Now, would that have been from the punches, John, or did they collide heads? No, it was, it was from a punch. You could tell. Okay. Yeah, I never saw the heads collide, so it was just those wild. He's, yeah, he's coming in. From, they're, they're looping in, but uh, I mean, look how big he is. That goes hard. And, and the adjustment that David Green would have to make is to come straight down the pipe because those punches are so wide. Let's see what they've decided to do. They're going to let him carry keep, on? Yeah. They're going to let him go. Hernandez is sucking a little bit of wind. David Green's going to look like Mayhem Miller with a haircut over there. For yeah. the rest of it. <laughs> I like it. These two are going to go. All right. So, again, David Green in the black and white trunks there. He'll be easily identifiable by the blood in his head. Great movement from him. He's throwing a lot of versatility. But he has got to be careful with these powerful hooks that Hernandez is throwing. Oh, God. Big shot from Hernandez. Pushes him down with nice a fucking uppercut. big right hand. Oh my god! Wow! That is a powerful man. Well, Justin Bernard has his best covered. Guys, we're on the other side of the cage, and I'm scared right now. Yeah. This kid's a beast. And I'll tell you what, Green's a beast too. Two great fighters just fought for you guys. Yeah, that was a fun heavyweight fight it there. Sure David was. Green there. Props to him for continuing after the nasty cut, but he, he, you know, showing a lot of movement, a lot of versatility. You got to think if this thing went into the later rounds, as we watch the replay here, David Green showing a lot of technique, but Joe Hernandez just a powerful man. Hernandez does a good job of capitalizing on your throws and just comes over. A little wild, but he's effective. He can straighten that out, so. He's tough though, man. Yeah, he knocked him down with a push kick. Came in with an uppercut. Swipe him again in the head, kind of where he was already hurt. Yeah, you get hit by a shot like that on the temple or right behind the ear. You know, people say a guy has a great chin. You never hear a guy say, the guy has a great side of the head. Yeah, it's really awesome. Yeah. 
just doesn't work. You go down from that. And, and we, uh, we, we, I, I think we, Hernandez wants another fight, by the way. He sure does. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to get it here. Nobody's going to step up to that. <laughs> Look nope. how big his hands are, guys. Huge. He's pacing around the cage, screaming. I think he's ready to go. Yeah, if anybody wants some action, you can get some right now, but I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> I'll, buy you, I'll buy you a cocktail, Mr. Hernandez. We can sit down and tell a story or two. Good sportsmanship there by Hernandez. And Green's being looked over, and uh, he's going to be okay, folks. Yeah, Just he's a little okay. bit of cosmetic attention at this point. The doctors have already checked him out. And he's okay. Uh, I did notice, though, he kind of fell back awkwardly on one of his knees. Uh, that happens a lot, and sometimes it looks worse than, than it is. Uh, but I think he'll be okay. You know, if you go back to the UFC that we mentioned uh, earlier in the broadcast, Charlie Brenneman kind of took a, that type of a fall from Danny Castillo. Yeah, but he turned out to be okay. Yeah, I tell you what, though, you know, obviously David Green suffered a uh, a knockout loss there, but I liked what I saw from his movement. I, you know, it was really exciting to see. So, good stuff from both fighters. That was a great heavyweight fight. Let's take it up, Justin Renard, and get the official time and stop it. is UFC founder and godfather of MMA, Mr. Art Davey. After one minute, 19 seconds into the first round, your winner by knockout and new top and up heavyweight champion, Joe Hernandez. So Joe Hernandez, your knockout winner, and right, here we do. Stuffing up heavyweight champion. I'm pretty sure this is a one size fits all. We got like 40 buttons on the back. All right, Joe, the new heavyweight champ coming in here. I sat down and it looked like you had engagements for after the fight. It looked like you're trying to catch the second half of Disney on Ice. I don't know. Tell, walk us through. <laughs> uh, out of five wins, my record's wrong. I'm five and two. Out of five wins, I got four first minute knockouts. I mean, I didn't get it in the first minute, but hey, I got it. So, I mean. My, my whole goal of coming into a fight is to disable him, make his brain mush. I want, his, I want to see that pain <laughs> in his eyes with respect, of course. <laughs> of course. Yes, sir. And, uh, I mean, hey, he was a good opponent. I just I came out as a better man today, and I just want to thank Tough Enough for the opportunity. A great venue, one of the best venues I've ever fought for. One of the best. I've seen pro shows not as good as this. This is great. This is a great venue. I like to thank my gym, All In MMA, Brennan Park, and my new sponsor, Team Savages. That's right. <laughs> and that's it. We're happy to have you. Congratulations, your new Tough Enough Heavyweight Champ, Joe Hernandez. Five and two. <laughs> Joe Hernandez correcting his record, picking up belts, impressive performance, impressive power from that man. A fantastic knockout victory over David Green. He is your new Tough Enough heavyweight champion. That was fun, but do not go anywhere. We still have one fight left, and if you like heavyweights, you're going to love super heavyweights. That's what we got next at Tough Enough.